Hey, welcome to Sean's Booster Garage. Today, I'm gonna to install this in my car. Um, if you've been following along, I've, I've uh, swapped my car from uh, a five-speed over to a 470W automatic transmission. So, um, now we're up to the point the the transmission's installed. I didn't show anything, I didn't show any of that on the video. Um, it's just really hard to do by myself. I didn't have anyone here helping me, so it would have been, it was difficult. And so I just chose not to, uh, not to video it. But uh, I'm sure if you look around on YouTube, you find lots of videos on how to install an automatic transmission in one of these new edge Mustangs. So anyways, I'm gonna install this today. I'm gonna show you uh, the mount that I'm made for it and show you how to mount it to the uh, tunnel. And um, we'll uh, run the cable and uh, all that stuff, so. Okay, so um, I've already, uh, obviously I've, I've made part of the plate already. Um, I wasn't sure how I was gonna do this, so I just sort of went ahead without uh, videoing. But uh, I, can show you what, I can show you what I did. So this is the, this is the bracket for the uh, rubber boot that will go around the five speed shifter. So anyways, I took the rubber off it and just laid it on a piece of steel, uh, marked the holes, drilled them. Um, and uh, this, so this is gonna mount in the car right where this um, this boot bracket would have went. So, so basically what's gonna happen is uh, I'm gonna bolt this to the tunnel and I'm gonna weld this little stub on here. And then I made this part. So this part is basically is what's gonna hold the shifter. And that is going to, once I have that welded on, that's gonna, that's gonna sit on. And then, so once I get it mounted in the car and I got sort of the orientation this way that I want, then I'll, uh, I'll drill, uh, through drill it and uh, stick a bolt in it and, um, and um, that should hold it securely in place. So, uh, yeah, anyways, I I, uh, I would look around for some videos and what other people have maybe done to install the shifter, but man, there's like nothing. Yeah, um, I did see there's a company online that does sell it. I forget the name of the company, but uh, you know what? For uh, just a little bit of plate steel and... Um, and uh, maybe some round rod. I actually got a friend to uh, machine this up for me, and uh, and some tubing, and a welder, and some patience. Um, you can make this bracket yourself too. And man, I think they want like like a hundred bucks or hundred twenty bucks or something U.S. for it. So I mean, I bought this plate, this piece of steel. I bought for twenty five bucks, and um, the uh, tubing I happen to have here already. So. Anyway, so basically all that's gonna happen is this is gonna to bolt to this, and then this is gonna slide down onto this knob, and then this whole thing is gonna bolt into the uh, into the tunnel of the car. So anyways, uh, I'll get this, uh, I guess I'll finish getting this tacked on, and then I'll go put the plate in the car, and uh, we'll give you an idea of uh, what it's gonna look like. Okay, so... Uh, I just tacked this on and um, I think that's all I'm going to do anyways. This isn't going to be, it's not like I'm going to be uh, yanking on the shifter real hard. So anyway, so here's the idea. Piece of tubing, slides over that. And then uh, <clears throat> this whole thing is going to bolt it in, in the car. This is basically coming up out of the uh, the console opening where the five speed shifter used to be. So, and then uh, and then the shifter will be mounted on top of that. So, so uh, anyways, I'm just sort of playing with it. I'm hoping I'm hoping it's not too high, but uh, I can always just cut this tube down. So, um, might have to plop the. I get the seat out right now. I might stick it back in temporarily and just. Uh, just try it out, see how the height is and stuff. So, um, yeah, so uh, hang tight here and I'll uh, I'll get this bolted in the car and uh, basically show you how it's gonna look. Okay, so uh, here it is, bolted into the tunnel. Um, and here's the rest of the shifter. I'm just gonna uh, slide that right onto there. 
And uh, like I said, once I get the seat in and get this all mounted, I can kind of set the, the angle I want. There, I can set it to whatever angle I want and then I'll, uh, I'll drill a hole through here and put a bolt in it or a pin or something. And, uh, cause, uh, I don't want to weld that on because, um, if I ever got to take the console out, then I can just pull the pin and lift this whole thing off and I'll be able to get the, uh, console off without any issue at all. So anyways, I think it looks pretty cool, pretty cool to be honest with you. Um, now, what I got to figure out now, too, is I got to figure out, I'm hoping uh, this is going to fit in there. If not, I may have to uh, grind off that little stub piece and move it sort of further that way. But anyways, I'll uh, I'll be back and figure out how to get this off without... Uh, destroying it and uh yeah we'll go from there okay i'll be right back <clears throat> hey uh just a quick one there if you want to know how to get this bezel off or this boot out of this uh cover um i don't know if i can do it one hand or not but a screwdriver under there and just a little twist only held in by plastic so I think what the what the factory did was uh they must have had a little nub through there and then uh, once that was on there and they melted it and flattened it out so anyways <clears throat> it's not a big deal to get off at all so pretty easy okay here's the shifter installed um it's been uh, honestly it's been a couple weeks since uh the last little shot you just saw um just life's busy and um kind of worked away at this uh, just a little bit at a time so <clears throat> anyways the um the shifters installed um i see i still got some painting to do but uh, that's no big deal um and you'll see that um i cut a big hole in it so that'll probably be the next video and that'll show you um how i installed this trans controller so anyways the the shifter works really good um well, i'll uh crawl in, i'll crawl underneath the car and show you how i um, made the connection to the uh, transmission i didn't really need any special brackets i just used um the brackets on the car that were there already and um and sort of modified the linkage on the transmission to um to uh be able to hook the cable to it so anyways hang tight and uh slide underneath the car there and uh show you what i did did there okay so um this was the this was the original bracket that was on the transmission so what i did was make uh um i just made i just took a couple pieces of uh sheet metal and um basically made these two plates so that and i, I could drill a hole in it and I could thread the cable through and it would have something to hold to because the hole that's actually in this bracket is too big and you don't have any, you don't have anything to um, bolt this bolt this cable to so anyways it wasn't too difficult just a couple pieces a couple piece of metal got one on the front side one on the back side and the bolts will go through it to hold it together yeah just and then just drill a hole here and uh, that'll allow you to uh, secure the uh, cable this is the original, this right here is the original shift linkage. This, this bolt here normally went through this way. So the threads were over here and this, this uh, back side of the, of the bolt was on this side. So I just knocked that out and, and I, I, uh, I shortened it because it was going to hit the tunnel. So I knocked that out, shortened it and put it back in the opposite way. And then also drill the hole through the threaded part. So there's actually, there's a flat on this side and a flat on this side. So it's not hard to drill at all. Drill the hole, put my cable through it. And uh, then, so then you can do your adjustments from there. So I still got, I still got some adjustment room if I need. 
Plus you got adjustment room here. Plus you got adjustment room in the car. So <clears throat> anyways, um, yeah, because the, the kit, um, the kit didn't really come with brackets that were specific, specifically for this transmission. Like it's kind of like an AOD, um, shifter more than a 470W. Um, but anyways, you can make it work. You just gotta sort of think about, uh, what you're doing and what, where you need to go. And, and, um, anyways, this, this piece here, this is just... It's just knurled inside, so it's really just a press fit. So then I, so when I had to put it back in, I just used a couple, a couple pairs of vice grips, and sort of just squeezed right here and got it to, um, got it to pull back in. So, anyways, um, just thought I'd show you that because uh, I haven't found any videos of people specifically showing how to mount this into a like a new edge SN95 Mustang. So. Um, anyways, hopefully you find this helpful and, um, thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe, um, trying to, uh, love to get, I'd love to get a thousand subscribers in this year if I could. Right now I'm at 275. So, uh, yeah, if you know anybody that might find any of the stuff I do handy, um, just, uh, share them and, uh, share me with them and, um. Uh, Maybe I can get there by the end of the year. That'd be great. Okay, thanks. Talk to you later. <clears throat> um, I just thought of one thing um, just before I sign out. Um, I want to show you where I had to route the cable through. So um, it, that's just up in, up in front of the tunnel. Right there where it goes through, there's like a couple layers of metal there. So um, you'll have to drill through that. So... Obviously, I got the cable routed through that, and then, and then um, it comes out over top of the transmission onto the driver's side, and the cable basically does just like a 180. So it comes out, and then turns back around, heads toward the, towards the back of the car, and um, <clears throat> and then you hook it to the transmission. So um, it's it's kind of hard to get at. I can tell you how I started the hole was I got a um, a burr bit and sort of use that to get a hole started and then I use one of those uh, uni bits and uh, at an angle and I was able to uh, get this hole big enough so I think I probably went to like an inch in diameter or something like that or maybe seven eighths of an inch and then uh, and then I just took a piece of uh, piece of I don't know vacuum tube or whatever and um, split it uh, split it down the middle and fished it over the uh, um, over the cable, and then just stuck it in the hole there, so that um, so that there's no chance of um, the cable getting rubbed through, and then getting corroded and getting sticky, and then all of a sudden your car doesn't shift right. So yeah, so I just wanted to uh, point that out. Um, again, um, I did a lot of reading and and. Um, watched tried to look for some videos but there wasn't really anything specific to to this car um uh yeah anyways <clears throat> i don't know if you got any of these lights or not but these are the best light i think i've ever had they use a milwaukee battery and um and you just clip the light on your battery you can set it anywhere and up and down and whatever it's a it's a good one to get so anyways that's just a little aside but anyways here's the shifter right down to one two three there's the shift you know the uh, reverse interlocks you push that now you're in reverse now you're in park um this shifter also has the uh let me show you or not see it's got two buttons here so i've actually got this button wired up to my transmission controller to control the um, uh, overdrive, uh, turn the overdrive on or off. So anyway, it's not gonna get into that right now. That'll be uh, next video. I'll show you how I did this. Um, there's a bit of, there's some wiring to it. It's mostly plug and play, but there is some wiring to it where you gotta, you gotta um, 
connect into the um, OEM harness. Uh, I did it right kind of at the harness coming out of the ECU. So anyways, I'll show you all that. Um, and uh, yeah, anyways, thanks again for watching and uh, we'll talk to you later.